Thank you, Stacey Ann. Well, it is the question we ask every day. What are we going to make for dinner? Or if you're my children, Mommy, what are we having for dinner? How does this look? Not just the cookbook, the plate next to it. This is a Bolognese style chicken cutlet. It is super easy to make. And the best part is you only need one pan. And this recipe is the latest cookbook by Milk Street called Tuesday Nights Mediterranean. And if you scan the QR code that you find right on your screen, you will find the recipe. So take your phone, go over to that QR code, and voila. Joining us now to make us show us how to make this is Bianca Borges, a food editor from Milk Street. It is so nice to finally meet you, Bianca. How are you this morning? I'm really great, Metasol. Thank you so much. I've been looking forward to meeting you too. Oh, cool. Fantastic. So this is chicken cutlet is pretty standard operating procedure in my house, but this is a classic, is a twist on a classic Italian dish. How so? It, it, it is. The traditional dish is made with veal, but here in America, we love chicken and we love the convenience of a boneless, skinless chicken breast. So we adapted the recipe to do that. And it also has an incredible topping on it, not only prosciutto, but a little bit of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. And on top of that, there it makes its own pan sauce with a little bit of butter and lemon. And all of this cooks in about eight minutes. It's an incredible cutlet. Well, this is fantastic. I wish I had eight minutes for this segment, but we're gonna we're gonna drive a train through this thing, sister. So let's get us started. Ingredients are okay. pretty simple, yeah? Very simple. I've got the burners turned on. Mm -hmm. The only thing to consider really is to get a wedge of Parmesan instead of pre-grated. This assures that there's no additives in it and you just grate it on a box grater and you're good to go. Fantastic. Then you start with the boneless chicken breast and instead of pounding out the meat like you normally would, we wanted all four cutlets to fit in one pan. So we take a whole boneless breast and cut it in half horizontally through its center. Mm -hmm. So like this, you go like this, and then yeah. you get two. I don't know if you can see that. You yes, two, it's like a um, it's like a book. Great. Yes, and you need a real yes. sharp knife for this. I've I've tried this at home. You sharp knife and keep the knife level to the yep. board. Don't let it, you know. And then you do the traditional. You dip it in egg, then you dip it in breadcrumb, and you put it in a preheated skillet with a little bit of olive oil in it. And that's where we are here. Fantastic. And I'm gonna, you let them brown on one side for about two minutes, then you flip them over. So I'm just Here. adding, I already added my cutlets, my, my sous chef, Christopher Lamb, did all the heavy oh. lifting for me. He breaded the cutlets for me, and I'm going to add oh, them to my nice hot pan. Perfect. And you should be able to fit all four in there. You might need to, like, well, nestle them in. You know, Bianca, I don't know if you're aware of the PICS culinary budget. Uh, we, got, <laughs> we, got, we got two chicken cutlets. Because we have a teeny tiny pan, but but okay, it'll work it. just the same. Hey, I've worked with budgets all my life. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> all right, so this is where it gets interesting. Once those cutlets brown and you flip them over, this is where the fun starts. We're going to begin by adding a little bit of butter. This mm -hmm. is four tablespoons, and you just add it around the cutlet so it hits the pan. Yep. And then four crushed garlic cloves. No chopping. You just crush the cloves. And I wanted to ask you about that, Bianca. Why not chop? Why crushed? Are we achieving the same flavor profile with crushed versus uh, chopped? Or is it to ease up on the cleanup afterwards? No, not at all. We are going to flavor the butter with the garlic, and then we're going to take the garlic out. Beautiful. So. Easier to take out a clove than, an than a bunch of little tiny pieces. Yes, or slices. I mean, if you're a garlic lover, by all means, you can slice it and leave them in there. You just want to make sure they don't start burning, but Correct. they should be fine. Okay. All right, so I'm shaking the pan to melt the butter, and then, this is unusual, but we're going to add a half a cup of water around the edges mm -hmm. of the pan, so you don't want it to go on top of the crispy cutlet. Okay. It's right around. And this also stops the butter from burning. Or and the garlic for that matter. So you're right. good. You're good with that. Then we're gonna top these each cutlet with one slice of prosciutto. This is what makes it special and fancy, even just for a this Tuesday what, night. It makes it look really and taste fancy without a lot of effort. It's, it's an extraordinary recipe. And it also smells really good because the garlic, the whole garlic, really marinates in that fat of the butter, and it is delicious. Yes. Yes, and then those 
three ounces of Parmesan cheese get mounded on top that we grated. And it doesn't, you yes. don't have to be uh, perfect about it. Yeah. It looks, it looks like a ton of cheese when it's grated because it's very light and fluffy. But when it melts down, you'll see it covers the cutlet just right. Okay. Fantastic. So there we go. And, and then we're going to cover the pan for two minutes. And this is what that looks like. I move all that over. I mean, have you ever? That's two minutes on one side, two minutes on the other side, because the cutlets are only about a half inch thick. They cook very quickly. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to remove these cutlets and, and I'm, the water and butter. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I'm following along. I'm waiting for my, my big fancy TV moment where I swap out the pan for what I made in the commercial break. <laughs> Those swaps are brilliant, aren't they? Oh, my gosh. I love it. All right. So and I'm then this is what it looks here. like. Dun, 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 dun. Actually, I'm going to keep this here so I can keep cooking for my friends. I'm glad you're cooking along. I wasn't sure. Oh, that's great. Right. And now we're going to remove we're going to remove the cloves of garlic that we talked about earlier. Yes. And then all that is left to make this sauce. I'm going to keep that at a simmer. Squeeze in a couple tablespoons lemon juice. Yeah. And once the lemon juice hits yeah. the butter. It thickens into a beautiful sauce. Yes, I was going to say, the sauce is made just from the fat that was rendered in the pan with all That's that right. flavor that was building, a little bit of water. Yep. I was going to ask, can you swap out chicken broth for instead of water? Or does it not matter? Absolutely. Okay. You certainly could. And then you just pour the sauce over the cutlets. Yummy. Serve it with a beautiful salad from the Mediterranean book cookbook. <laughs> you know, the Mediterranean is all those countries, obviously, that border right. the Mediterranean Sea. And what you're used to are the coastal cities and the bright, fresh yeah. vegetal cuisine from there. And we have a lot of those recipes in the book. And it's I'm full of those. I'm going to call you up every night because I'm going to cook every single one of those recipes until I get to the end of the book. <laughs> Bianca Burgess, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. You at home can find this recipe right now on Pix11.com or just go pick up a copy of the cookbook, Milk Street, Tuesday Nights Mediterranean. I'm going to share this with my friends. Thank you, Bianca. Thank you, Maddie Stahl.